Coyman. Okay, the Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke hoping a fresh round of easing will spur job growth, but lawmakers have another idea. It's called Startup Act 2.0, and it aims to create and keep jobs in America. Republican Representative Michael Grimm from New York is supporting this bill. We're pleased to have him join us now from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Congressman, welcome to you. Well, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. Melissa's here with me. We're having a great day. And I see you're joined there by some high school students who I understand are giving a tour of the New York Stock Exchange. So are these some of the students you are hoping as they go to college, become professionals, stay here in the U.S. and get jobs. Absolutely, and I want to just say that they're from Poly Prep in Brooklyn. I'm extremely proud of all of them. They're doing a great job, and this is the future of America. And absolutely, we need to put an emphasis on the STEM fields, you know, the sciences, technology, all the engineering and mathematics. We know there are jobs open right now, and there's no one to fill those jobs. So we need to have an emphasis there. And it's about creating jobs in the United States. That's what Startup 2.0 is. It's a jobs bill. Are we still losing a lot of young professionals to jobs overseas? Yes, unfortunately. And, and let me tell you what really, it, it breaks my heart and it boggles my mind. I'll give you a perfect example. Someone here in the United States had a company and they needed two people from India that had a very, very special talent to build database. Uh, they were architects for databases. And they couldn't get visas to bring them in the company, in the country. So the company got so upset that they went to India and opened it up over there. And now there's 75 other jobs in India that would have been American jobs if we would have been able to get these two individuals to build the databases here. I don't want to see that happen again. The jobs need to stay here in the United States and yeah. we should be giving incentives for those that graduate in STEM related fields to stay in America. But Congressman, I mean, you're talking about changing immigration laws so that people that come here and earn a degree stay here and those jobs stay in America. But it seems to me that the real problem is getting students like the kids behind you to study math and sciences kids that were born here stay here learn those jobs and you know become engineers and become the technicians that we don't have what is it about our young people that they don't grow up to go into those fields okay there's two points to that and they're very very important number one the, the only thing to do with immigration here is that we're doing common sense visa reform immigration is a huge issue that we have to tackle this isn't it this is about visa reform that makes common sense without actually increasing the caps of immigration that's one number two i actually asked that same question i asked the entrepreneurs why don't we have the talent here in the united United States. And you know what they explained to me? That those graduating with perfect SAT scores, the kids that we would say are geniuses, are, are not going to be database architects for $150,000 to $200,000 a year. They're becoming white shoe lawyers, they're becoming surgeons, they're becoming investment bankers, and they're trying to make millions of dollars a year. It's a cultural difference that we have to deal with. But part of my bill is investing for the long term in our uh, 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 education so that we do have more STEM-related students here in the United States. I, I, I totally disagree with you. I don't, I don't think that's where it's coming from. I mean, we have 2.5 million jobs, according to Kelly Service, as CEO that are tech related that aren't filled. We have a lot of kids that are getting out of college that are trained in liberal arts. They're not becoming million dollar bankers. They're not doing anything. They're unemployed. But they're not qualified for the jobs you just said. I have so, to completely disagree with you, but I did a I, lot of research. They're not qualified no, know, to be so database architects. We're, I know we're agreeing on this. So how do we get kids when they're little kids to grow up and to study Wanting oh, sure. to become engineers or what? I mean, you say they don't make as much money. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. He's making billions. <laughs> right, but it's very rare. The reality is that it is a cultural difference, and we have to do more in science, technology, and math in the grade schools. We have to make sure that there are programs that emphasize, but a lot of that is with the parents. You know, the parents and, and our society has to emphasize, em, you know, make sure that these students know it's extremely important and emphasize that mathematics and technology are important. Unfortunately, in the United States, a lot of parents are telling their, their children, become doctors, become lawyers, become investment bankers. And they're not focusing on these technologies. So it's, it's not an easy fix. This yeah. is a cultural issue that we have to just put more incentives for, the, for uh, students to study. But the reality is, if you are a genius in the United States and you have a perfect SAT score, you're not becoming a database architect. It's not enough money in it. I will tell you, though, that with unemployment at these levels, I think at some point we are going to start seeing a shift and we will naturally yes. start seeing students choose these, these technological, know, these STEM I, careers. I think it's going to happen. I, sort of I, I have more disagreeing with, to do with you, Congressman <laughs> Graham, but we're out of time. I'm going to have to drag you on. I, I have another okay. program on at 5 p.m. that has a segment called Disagree With Me, and I think you're perfect for it. I'm going to drag you on that when you have some time. It'd be my pleasure. Okay, thank you.
Thank he's, you. He's yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't really sport. done with that. Yeah, I'm well. gonna bring him on that other show. Okay, we Moody, got stuff to downgraded. do today. Yeah, That's right.